Hey everyone, it's Chanel here from The Heart and Soul. Finally on Wednesday, September 5th. Uh, we're gonna do the reading for the rest of the week through to the 9th. Uh, here it was first day of school yesterday and life was a little crazier the last two days than I expected trying to get uh, kiddos all organized and ready and off to school as well. It's a crazy time at the yoga studio. We're launching our new fall schedule workshops, all that good stuff. So I've been up to my eyeballs and work, but I did not forget about you. wanted to make sure you had a little reading this week. So it's just a short week, a half week of reading. Uh, we're gonna use the messages from the Animal Spirit Guides Oracle card deck. Um, and we are here at the yoga studio this morning. I had to drop my oldest off early this morning so that he could change his courses for school, get him in line with what he wants to do for university. I can't believe that we're headed in that direction already. The cards are just jumping out today. So I have three cards. Uh, our first one is a cardinal. Um, I love cardinals. They are a representation of someone in spirit trying to say hello. So this one says the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. I know that is me this week trying to get on top of life. Our second card is a chameleon. Stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. When we force things to happen, we definitely don't um, allow ourselves to go with the flow and allow things to unfold the way that they are supposed to. And it can be really tricky to sit back and allow things to unfold, but it is so important when it comes to allowing things to flow easily. When we try to control the situation, we're forcing things. And so then they're not necessarily turning out the way that they are meant to be. And maybe forcing us to redo something or to learn a life lesson in the process. Our last one is honeybee. Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. This is more about yourself, being kind to yourself. I know for me, this week has been a little crazy, a little nutty. Um... I know I don't have my little thing here today, so there you go. Um, it, it's been a little bit of a crazy couple of weeks trying to get organized and um, back to on track, ready for school. And like I said, it's a really busy time for me at work too, trying to get back on track for the fall and getting everything started back up. So be really kind to yourself this week and be gentle in what you are doing and trying to move forward. Also, they're asking you to, again, to find that balance. Um, a long weekend here in Canada, um, and just in general, you know, getting kids back to school, even in the States, I think, did a week ago they were back to school. Um, it, you know, finding that balance again, as we shift out of summer into a new school year, into a new schedule and a new routine. I know for me, it usually takes a couple of weeks getting kids back to cadets and dance and everything else to find that routine and that's that, um, that flow again in our house. So I hide, it can be hard, but I really try to be kind to myself during that time, getting everyone resituated and myself rescheduled. So I just try to be as organized as possible. In moving through that so remember that over this next week or so they're saying that there's a bit of a two-week imbalance right now we're kind of part way through week one number one expect one more week of kind of imbalance and that's energetically um, the way that the alignment of planets and everything is working right now it is not just you or me it is kind of an overall energetic imbalance right now so be kind to yourself all right I gotta go to work I will see you again next week from my heart and soul to yours. Have a wonderful week.